Hello, in this video, I'm going to show you how to set up Wine on your Mac so you can run, you know, EXE executables that are, you know, originally designed and created for Windows. So to do this, to do this is actually really simple. First of all, you want to go to your web browser, Google Homebrew. If you already have it, fantastic. You can skip this step. If you don't, go to brew.sh, copy this command, copy this command. Homebrew is basically a package manager, which essentially is a really, really cool way of installing stuff. And if we paste that here, click enter, and just go through the steps. It might ask you for the password, it might ask you to confirm some stuff, just do that. I've already got it done, so I am not going to do any of that. So let's close that down. So once Homebrew is installed, it might take a few minutes, that's fine. If he asks you for a password, just put your password in. If it looks like it's not typing anything, that's fine. That's just for, that's just a security measure. Next, what you want to do is install Xcourse. You can do brew cast install Xcourse again. Click enter. I'm not going to install it because I've already done it. I don't want to waste you know your time or you know anyone's time. If he asks you for your password, you know put it in. If he asks you to accept any license, you accept anything, just click yes or you type in Y, click enter, and that's fine. Final thing you want to install is Wine. So you do brew, install Wine, just click enter again. I've already done it, so I'm not going to go through all of this process. And then once you've done that, you're ready to use Wine. To you to use Wine, you use the keyword Wine, then you put the executable at the end. And if you look here, I've got a executable. This is actually an and in install file for Notepad++, which is exclusive for Windows. So I'm gonna. You can either do Wine and drag this on like so, or you can navigate to the directory and just put the exe file. So I'm gonna click Enter. Um, ignore any errors that might occur. And as you can see, it's open up the executable. Click OK. It will allow us to install it. So you, there are you know different places that you can install it I'm going to install it on the download folder which will literally just install it there but you could potentially install it you know in a program files and that will literally just be in, 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 in find a window and if we go to go folder it will just be in Uh, forgetting where it's <laughs> where where by default it is actually located. Where is it? Where is it? Ah, my bad. So you just go to go folder. Get this is John. Just want to show you where it would be located. So you know tilde four slash dot wine, and in here you do drive C, and as you can see, you could have some stuff installed. I've got PCSX2, which is a PS2 emulator and some of the default stuff as well so you can always you know install it there well, i'm going to install it here so i can easily delete it afterwards so i'm going to click install as you can see it's created the folder i'm not going to run it yet click finish to run it again you just do wine this executable it'll launch up any moment now and there we go okay so we can type and use this you know all that good stuff but the problem is every time we want to launch it up before let's say close down terminal you have to open up terminal type in wine locate the executable and do this this can be a bit cumbersome if i'm being honest with you so a better way of doing it is essentially creating a shortcut that bypasses or actually it doesn't bypass it just does this automatically to do that you go to script editor this it can also be located in applications utilities and I'm going to say new document, and at the top here, you're going to say tell application terminal. So do script. So the script we are going to run would be join. And now, what you would need to do is specify the path to the file. And that's it. You now we can say end tell to make sure it is working. Let's click the play button. It launches up an instance of terminal. 
and there we go. So now if I close that down, if I was to save this script onto the desktop, let's say if I call it notepad++, close that down now, close the script editor down, and if I was to double click that, you'll open it up, and we could just click play. And there you go, as you can see, it is now launching. And you could even go a step further and actually put this, you know, here on your dock so you can launch it directly from there. So that's how you install Wine, that's how you create a shortcut for Wine as well on Mac. If you have any questions, feel free to pop me a message. And as usual, I look forward to seeing you in the next video.